Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the reshade injector. Uh, the reshade injector uh, is used when you can't place files on the game folder. Uh, usually those are the UWP or the Windows Store games because those folders, they have some special protection that don't allow you to mess with them even if you are an admin of the... you are the, the, the admin of the computer. So I don't have any windows games and uh, windows star games uh installed here but i do have paint 3d paint 3d works really well uh, for our purposes right now because it does have somewhat of a direct uh, direct x uh output somehow it's a little bit broken you can see right here so if we go to details and f look for the paint 3d should be around here sv windows uh, paint paint studio that you that the only one yeah that's the only one so if we finish the task close the task yeah that's you paint if we go here again and right click and open file location you're gonna see that we can't create an, a new file uh, we can only create a new folders and you see it's the uh, access the nine so and it's on a weird you see it's very full of uh, windows pro crap protection anyway so to counter that uh, crosshire made an injector that basically waits for the game to spawn and then injects reshade with it to use that, we're gonna need a reshade. Uh, just download it. I already have it on my downloads folder right here. And we're gonna go to the PC Gaming Wiki page of reshade. And I'm gonna scroll down here to the UWP games. And you're gonna download the, the right uh, injector for your game. If your game is 32 bit, uh, you download the 32 version. Uh, if you if your game is 64, download the 64 version, or you can compile it from the source code yourself. You can take a look right here if you're a little bit suspicious. Uh, so I'm gonna download the 32 and the 64 version because you're gonna uh, do uh, work on those both of those. And right here I have the reshade installer right here. I can extract the files here, or I can double click and just hold Control and click, and it should extract the files. Yeah, it yeah, already exists. And from here, I can open the CMD, type CMD. I can, I need to grab the executable name for this uh, program right here. So I'm gonna open the task manager while the program is open. Go to details, I'm gonna find it, it's paint, paint studio view. So I'm gonna do uh, while the, reshade dlls i don't need those folks files right here well the reshade dlls are in the same folder as the injector you type inject inject 64 and the name of the process that you want to inject reshade to so this one is paint studio studio dot view dot exe is that right yeah that's right and right now the program the the program is open so it won't do anything so i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna run the command run the command yeah there we go right and then when i open paint reshade is installed on paint but you never see that coming huh never saw that before huh? and yeah since we don't have uh, uh admin rights to that folder uh, this is the downloads folder, but we can just have admin rights to that. But most of the times, you don't have admin uh, rights to the folder. I'm just gonna click home and change the the location of the of the presets and the the shaders folder and whatever. That should be fairly easy to do. And if you wanna uh, run it, for example, on Terraria. The Terraria is, it uses DirectX 9, but even if we, let me see, if we install it, select a game, browse, I'm gonna go to F, 
Steam Library, Common, Terraria. I'm gonna select Terraria. Uh, Terraria uses DirectX 9. I'm gonna install just the default ones, click OK. If we go to the Terraria folder, you're gonna see that we have the, oh, this is from previous attempt. Uh, we have the Reshade files right here, the DX9 version of Reshade. Made from Crossfire, cross and the Reshade shaders and whatnot. And skip the tutorial, show FPS. If we run the game, you're gonna see that nothing happens. Reshade doesn't load, even though the the game is a DirectX 9 game. You see that the log says that the game, the reshade didn't load and yada yada. But if we have the injector, the 32 version and the reshade 32 here, I'm gonna copy those, move it to the Terraria folder and we open the CMD. We're gonna type inject 32 and Terraria. Exe. Remember, if we launch the game and look for it on the on the details page, you're gonna find it right here. If we close it, closes the game. There we go. So you're gonna look for the Terraria executable. I'm uh, waiting for the process to spawn, and then we're gonna go to Steam and launch the game. We should found the Terraria. And when you see the shade is open, you can click home, check it, whatever. All the shaders work just fine. You can close, but if you don't want to do that every time, you can create a new batch file. You're gonna create a new text document, you're gonna name it inject, and b80 inject pet. I'm gonna change the uh, extension gonna edit we're gonna start inject 32 exe this will call the injector and make the injector look for the terraria process exe and then we're gonna start oh, start this uh, we're gonna do slash d for the injector to look through the whole uh, directory we're gonna copy the terraria path I'm gonna do double quotes, steam, terraria, and we're gonna make it look for the terraria.exe. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna close this, and when we run the batch file, we get terraria with reshade, hopefully. There we go, we got shade running on terraria. With this, you can, for example, send it to the desktop, it's gonna create a, a, a shortcut here and you can change its appearance for example uh, where is it details details yeah you can change its icon can select on whatever icon you can you want or you can create a new one you can select a new one from here let's see if terraria has one uh, terraria yeah let's try this one open okay apply okay can we name it oh hit the wrong shortcut here terraria. and boom we have terraria working with free shade there you go if you have a, a game that doesn't support you launching it from its own executable like Terraria does, uh, you can change uh, this injector to uh, launch it through Steam. The only thing you have to change is uh, you have to copy the path for Steam. So you're going to go to C drive, uh, programs, I think, Steam. Oh. Program 86, Steam, there we go. And you're gonna grab the Steam main executable, okay. So we're gonna go here, uh, so, gonna copy those. We're gonna put it here, 
Terraria. Um, and I'm gonna go do steam.exe and then app launch. I think that's the command. Uh, help me get that. The app launch and then the ID of the app that you want. The way you find out the ID is you right click the game, go to properties, go to updates, and it should be right here app ID. So it's 1056 600. Save it. So it's on the Terraria folder right here. If we close it and edit it again, and right here, Steam, Steam launch. And when you double click it, it's gonna launch Terraria through Steam instead of the of the executable right here. So yeah, that's how you use Reshade, the Reshade installer, the Reshade injector. I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a good one.